Yes, sir. We back at it again. Walking. Put in a few miles. Yeah, we out here, though. We out here. It's a great opportunity right now while everybody's sleeping, chilling, to build your peace and tranquility. And sometimes when you're trying to get your life back on track and organized, you got to take times out of the day to put yourself in a quiet place. So we just out here walking, walking. Sun going to rise up in a few minutes. It's beautiful. A lot of folk are chasing money, trying to stack money, but you ain't stacking your mind, your heart, your body, and your soul. Just know this. There's a lot of rich people that ain't happy right now, too. And they got all the money and all the things that money can buy. You can't get peace and tranquility at Walmart on aisle seven. You cannot. Peace you can't purchase. Peace is divine. Comes from within, it's granted from God. So it's a lot of people out here that got nice things, got money, but they ain't got no happiness. They ain't got no love. God locked that up. He locked that up where it gotta be true. It gotta have foundation. It gotta have some type of substance for you to receive it. And a lot of you folk want things that you ain't willing to give. If you want love, it gotta start within and you gotta be able to distribute it out. Let this stick. Venting or helping? Venting or helping? In my experience, of doing counseling, marriage counseling, and even life coaching. The key is to know when somebody is coming to vent or when somebody is coming for true help. I love when the scripture says, be quick to hear and slow to speak. Because if you just sit back and so let's let's just nip it in the bud. Some people only listen to respond, but they didn't really hear that individual. To truly hear somebody, you got to be open minded, and you got to actually hear them to the point you reach understanding. A lot of people don't even know how to communicate well, like they feel what they feel. They just don't know how to speak on it or they just don't know how to communicate it in a positive way or a way where that other person can understand where they're coming from. But if you're a great hearer, a person can say a whole sentence one way, but you truly heard them another way. That's why communication is more than just using your mouth. You can use communication in so many words, but the biggest one is action. Because actions speak louder than words, and it attests to the truth of how you truly feel. But I'm going to tell you, there's a lot of people out here that's going to come to you, maybe even today, maybe even this weekend. They're going to come in two ways, either to vent or they need help. See, there are some people out here that come to vent but they act like they need help. No. Some of y'all have issues. And this may be you. Some of y'all got issues. But y'all ain't trying to change y'all problem. Y'all just come to vent. Empty your negative energy. With somebody who's strong enough to handle it. Or in a positive aura. So you can go back to the same situation that's plaguing you that's holding you back, that's keeping you at a low frequency. You just come to vent. You didn't really have no mission to change. You just need somebody to talk to. I'm going to tell you, there's some people that need help. And I'm talking about help, help. 
they ain't coming to vent. They really want to change their situation or, or the lifestyle they're living. But I'm going to tell you, tired equals change. That is my philosophy. Tired equals change. This means when you're tired, it means you're taking immediate action, immediate change on how you're feeling, what you're going through, or where you're at in life. Some people ain't trying to change. I can use as an example. I can use as an example. Relationship. You're not going to call me saying, well, I'm so sick of this man or woman. Or I'm going through this and going through that. But you still there? No. Tired means you're going to call me saying, hey man, I left him. I left her. I couldn't do it no more. Some people ain't tired. That's why your life ain't going to change. It ain't going to get no better until you get real tired. The scripture says, man draw near with their mouth, but their heart is far apart. Their, your heart is far apart. That means you saying one thing, but your heart is attesting to something else. Be real and be honest with yourself. Some people ain't over their situation. Some people ain't over what they're going through. That means they're not tired. Because when you're tired, you put an end to whatever you're feeling, whatever you're doing, or whoever you're dealing with. This might be for you. You might not be tired, or you might be tired. But if you are tired, you're going to prove it with your actions. You're either going to let it go, or you're going to cut it off. But see... When people come to me for help, I ask myself, the number one question I ask myself is, what hat I need to put on? The listening hat or the helping hat? And how can, if I, they need help, how can I help them? If they're just venting, don't say nothing, bro. Just let them get that emotion out. Some people will figure out their situation just by hearing them talk. Case closed. Easy discussion. You just talking, talking, talking to the point you figure out what you're going to do in the midst of you venting. Some people just need a lending ear. And I'm going to keep it real with you. Keep it 1,000. Keep it a thou wire. Stop. Stop carrying your problems and situations. To people that ain't gonna give sound advice. I said stop carrying your business to people who don't give sound advice. They're just giving advice just to carry it to somebody else, but they have no intentions of helping you. If you need help, give your help to somebody who's qualified, who's qualified and truly want to see you win in life. They ain't going to pick sides. They ain't going to be, you know what I'm saying, even a middleman. They just really going to give you sound advice to do what you need to do. But if you're tired, that person will help you get out and you won't return. There's some people that need help, but they ain't tired. So they you give them help, just... Really, they're not seeking help. They're seeking relief. Some people need relief because they have no intention of leaving their, their situation. Because you'll help that person and then they'll go right back to the very situation that put them in the need for help. Those are people who need relief, but they ain't tired. And they really don't need no help. They're really just wasting your time. But let this stick. Helping or venting. You know when somebody come to you needing help, that mean they ain't going to go back to the, to the situation that put them in a situation that, where they need help. And they're tired of the situation, which means they made a change for themselves. Now they want you to help them change even further. We got to stop helping people. 
that ain't trying to help themselves. And if you come to me for help, and you ain't made no attempt to help yourself, you don't need no help. You need relief. You need relief, and you could be a user. So, hey man, we out here trying to win, we out here trying to build. Some people just want to want you to be their wastebasket. Okay. If you love them, you care enough, do so. They're trying to dump their energy off on you. But make sure your energy is built up. So what they bring to you, don't tear you down. We out here trying to win. Hey, we must understand each other. Communicate to a high level of understanding. So we can truly figure out, are you the person that's venting? Or are you the person that truly need help? Y'all be blessed. Hope y'all have a blessed day. Stay out the way. Drink some water. Block anybody that's negative. And live your best life. You already know. We are.